What it do, baby? What's up, y'all? It's Naya. Excuse if my face look greasy. It's hot. So, you know, I was just chilling in my bed. I'm thinking, like, when I'm going to film this story time? And then I was like, well, I don't have nothing to do right now. So, I'm also filming right now. Today, I'm going to be telling you guys how I got scammed on Twitter. <sighs> Ask me how. I don't know. I was drinking some dumb bee juice. And I don't know. Excuse my appearance. I've been out all day. Yeah, without further ado, let's hop right into this video. So on July 2nd, 2019, at 5.25 p.m., I was at the gym parking lot, and I was about to go into the gym, and I was scrolling through Twitter on my phone, and I seen this giveaway. I see this tweet on Twitter, and I'm just, I'm like, oh, a wig giveaway. And oh, that's a nice wig. You know, it's some crazy colors, but you know, anybody smart enough would just get the wig and if they want to change the color you can dye it reply with my zodiac sign and yes this is on my personal twitter i do have two twitter accounts i have my personal twitter and then i have a youtube twitter so yes that's why the name is blocked out after i did that when i got out to the gym i went on my phone again because when i'm in the gym i have my phone on do not disturb i had seen that the girl who had posted the giveaway had liked my tweet and, you know, it's normal for people to go through the replies and just like everybody's tweet that's participating in their giveaway. You know, that obviously makes sense. So I'm just like, okay, I didn't think really much of it. But then it, something in the back of my head was like, you're going to win this giveaway. So I'm like, hmm. Y'all, look, I made a whole album on my phone called Scammed on Twitter Storytime. Next day, on July 3rd at 4.23 p.m., as y'all can see, it says, congratulations, you're the winner of my giveaway. I should have known something was wrong when she didn't know the right way to put <laughs> yo. not apostrophe R E like and I said, OMG, really, I'm so happy. And honestly, guys, I wasn't like, oh my god, I'm so happy. I really was just sitting there like, oh my gosh, really, I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. Like, that's literally how I was. But like, obviously it's like inside deep inside i'm like oh wow i just want to give away like because this is not the first giveaway i've ever won that would have been the third giveaway i've ever won so yeah i was just like chilling about it i was like okay whatever you see she says thanks for participating beautiful i responded is the video you posted with the giveaway info the wig i'll be getting and she said yes ma'am okay so this is a picture over here i'll put the picture um close up of what she said so basically it says she needs an email address shipping address phone number for us to pay 25 dollars for shipping okay 25 dollars for shipping on a wig that i won what but that literally completely went over my head when i read the next sentence that was like, I have customer reviews if you like to see that. And also my phone was available. So I'm like, this is a lot of information for her to be trying to scam, right? Obviously I was wrong. Obvious, obviously, okay. I didn't even go look at the reviews. Like literally, you guys, I'm just so like, this is literally like a dumb moment for me. I sent her the payment of $25 out of my bank account. And it, as you guys can see at the bottom, it says pending. That's so, oh my God. Nobody that I've ever cashed up ever before has had that setting. So it's just weird to me. Like, you know, I think that was cash up way of trying to tell me. So July 3rd. So Wednesday would have been July 3rd. So I had sent her the money on Wednesday, like right after she was talking to me. So mind you, she sent me at like around 4.30. I sent the money at 5.30. So then I was like done and I sent her the picture of the cash app. And then she didn't respond and she didn't open it either. But that Friday, I was like, good morning, did you get my shipping payment? Question mark. No response. And also, on Friday at 6.02 p.m., I texted the number she included in that picture. So when I texted her phone number and it was green, I was like, there's something up. Should have tried to call it, but I didn't think of that. And obviously, there's no... At the end of this video, you'll see why there's no point of me even, like, pushing it more. Um, I texted her that. No response. So then I gave her time to reply on Friday. And she didn't reply. So, or he or she, I don't even know who it is, honestly. So then... I texted her Saturday morning like, oh, hey, when is my package? Like, when should I be expecting package? No response. And then she posted another video of, a, like, a wig on July 6th. And obviously at this point I have realized that I've been scammed. Like, I've got it this I've got it at this point. So she posted this. And mind you, she hadn't blocked me yet on Twitter. So I posted this because I really couldn't believe it. Like, wow, like, I just got scammed for real. Like, literally, right after I tweeted that. This is how I know this is literally, like, a fake page just to scam people on. Because, okay, so this is what it looked like when she blocked me the first time. This was the original account. Literally, I don't even know, like, a week later, this is what the account says now. 
It says Shania crazy black. Who is Shania? I thought I was Kayla. If you think I'm lying, you can literally type in Kayla Hair 34 on Twitter and like a whole bunch of stuff about her thing. And it's really ridiculous, like honestly. I'm gonna search some pictures of like other people talking about this scam. So yeah, um, basically I found out who actually makes these wigs. So if you guys wanna see some like beautiful wigs, like literally, I haven't seen like these, like these wigs are like perfectly colored. This is like the actual girl's Twitter page. I wonder, this is her Instagram also. And if you scroll through her page, you'll be able to find the wig that the girl that scammed me posted. Like it's literally ridiculous. I know you guys are all wondering if I got my money back or not. And yes, I did. So if you're watching this and you've been scammed before online or on social media, all you have to do is first contact whoever you sent the money through. But like, if you send it through Cash App, which most people will scam you from Cash App. So if you send it through Cash App, first contact Cash App. Like, I know Cash App won't do anything about it and we all know they won't do anything about it. But first, you have to contact them first because if you go through your bank... And you, and you file a charge and then they contact Cash App. Cash App can like shut down your whole account just because you didn't know, let them know first. Go to Cash App, go to your settings and then go to like help or support or something like that. And then that's how you do it. And you just email them and boom. Then you contact your bank and you go through and you get your money back. I know this story just sounds so bad but if you don't have Twitter honestly get it like because I love Twitter so much. I get on Twitter every single day. So Twitter if you're watching this... I know I'm a small YouTuber, but you can still sponsor me. <laughs> so that was it for the story time. If y'all enjoyed, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of me every week, then make sure to subscribe. Help me hit 1K for my birthday. My Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat is all at night and I A across the board. And it'll be down below in the description bar. So make sure to go follow me on all of those. And we can be friends on the internet. Yeah, um, bye y'all.